Alrighty, um, let me see if I can, ah, no, <laughs> well, you know what, actually, forget it. Alright, I don't know if you guys probably couldn't hear that. <laughs> I could hear it, but it was very low. So, um, oh, I could only use the D-pad on this? Okay. Um, I, um, okay, I guess the uh, audio is not very loud in general. I cannot hear it. Um, let me see. Desktop audio. I guess turn it up all the way. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then, of course, there's moi talking, and I don't want to be that loud. Let me see. Alright. We'll see what happens. Um, hopefully, that's not too loud. Um,. I don't think so. As long as... Yeah, it should be fine. Alright, so... I got inspired to play The Crash. Um, because... Wait. I was animating and I was like, you know what? I need to... I need to play this, so... I'm going to play. And I will probably die a million times, but you know what? It's worth it. So... In celebration and observance of Crash 4, I figure, oh, well, why not play the original trilogy? The, the only trilogy that matters. Might as well. The one that started it all, right here. Um, and I can ramble about different things. Uh, who knows what I'll talk about. Um, so, uh, I just want to play this. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for Crash 4, and that's, like, the main reason I'm playing this. Um, I guess I can kind of talk about what I know about Crash 4, but, well, I know some things that are spoilers, so I'm not gonna actually say that stuff, but, uh, the stuff that's already been revealed, like, they're revisiting Insanity Island, um, which, it looks like they're gonna be doing a new take on this level. Which looks pretty cool. Like, they showed it in, um, this gameplay thing where the developer guy was talking about it. Um, but yeah, there's so many things that they've, that they've added to the Crash universe. And I think, uh, the Quantum Masks, which, um, are the new ones that they came up with that actually help Crash, um, I think those were really... Um, crap. I think those are really, um, those are a really good addition to the, um, Crash Universe. Um, but I was wondering if they were going to include the elementals. I highly doubt. Oh, man. I kind of want to get the gem, but no, I'm just doing a speedrun. <laughs> so, I, and that's another thing I was thinking about. Like, when I play Crash 4, am I going to be collecting everything, or am I just going to do a playthrough? Um, likely, I will do a playthrough just to play through the story. Um, and then I'll go back and play the other stuff, like all the nooks and crannies and details of whatever. Um... So yeah, it's, ooh. Hiya. All right, so, um, oh, another thing, uh, 
but I'm sure everybody notices that Aku Aku is protecting Cortex for some reason, so... I don't know if they're gonna explain that. I would hope that they do. Woo! Shoot. I was trying to... <laughs> be careful there. The D-pad on this Xbox controller is... Masuda. Kaboom. Woo! I almost forgot about you. Alright. Nee. Ah! Oh, I was trying to skip that. <laughs> oh, well. Let, let's see how well I can do on these. Um. Oh. I guess this is the less difficult bonus. Um, the bonuses in um, the new game are um, are um, I don't know why I was waiting for Cortex to swipe her. Like, uh, yeah, I was thinking Insane Trilogy. Oh. Um, I think yeah, I'm not going to save, so, yeah. Alright. Oh, no! My little mask. Um. So, yeah, um. I wonder if they're going to mention the elementals at all. No. But yeah, they are mentioning some stuff from other games, so um, who knows? Uh, but it's an official Crash 4. It's, it's, it's a big deal. You see, I'm like grabbing the Wumpus here, and I was just, I was playing the demo of Crash 4, and I was like not having to do that. So, I think for the new game, it's going to take some getting used to not collecting the lump of fruit when you break the crate. But that's a nice convenience, though, to uh, not have to worry about going back and getting them. But yeah, uh, I want to play these because Insane Trilogy doesn't count to me. Um, I didn't care for it, so yeah. Tis my opinion, so whatever. Um, but these three are the ones that matter, and um, yeah. I know this game has a wonky save system. Um, like, even if you have a memory card, it, it's like you can only save during the bonus. I don't know why it was made like that, but... Um, then again, the bonus levels aren't that hard, so. But you would still have to go through a level and go through a bonus just to, um, unlock it, so. And it feels good to play this again, like. Really good. Oh my gosh! I forgot this boulder's <laughs> unrelenting. <Okay. laughs> Whoa! Hey, I jumped way too early. Okay. <laughs> that was my first death. No, I was trying not to get like any deaths on uh, the first island, but you know. So that's a death number one. I could do a death counter in my head. 
Um, the new game, it has a death counter for if you're playing, I guess, modern mode. It counts how many times you die. Oh my gosh, this boulder is too close for comfort, man. My child is too close for comfort, man. Okay, go away, go away, thank you. Criminy. Um, it's not impossible. It's not easy, but it's not impossible. Um, I think the second one's the one where I mess up really bad because the the sticks are twonk. And then I have to use this D-pad and I'm not too happy about that because there's probably a way to change the settings, but I don't know how to get that. Dory. Man, I would have had 17 lives if I didn't frickin' fall off the dang cliff. Yeah. It's too early. But yeah, all the crash games are about timing. Like, you have to time your jumps, you have to time your the enemy's movements and stuff. Woo! Hey! Okay. Um. No! Oh! Oh, I keep jumping too early. Okay, death number two. Damn it. I like how they kept the um the one uh the the one the um TNT is glowing. You know, like they do that in the new game too. I want to say in Insane Trilogy, all three games they glow or they do like a little flicker. That's handy. Oh my. I was trying to get you. Oh. Um, music wise, um, I like the take they're doing in um, Crash 4. Um, it's different. Um, it's not like a catchy little team playing throughout. It kind of goes with the level and what's going on. Um, I noticed that in the dinosaur level. So, that was a pretty cool... Um, thingy. No! I wasn't supposed to lose my mask. Look at the mouth. Oh my gosh. ba ba boo boo Yeah, so I want to play through this and then um, maybe go back to animating. Um, I am. Oh, I lost my mask. Why? Ah, oh, crap. Um, huh. I guess you lose it after every boss fight. I don't know. Anyway, um. Boop. 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 Boop! Oh, I'm not timing my, my my things right. Help. Help. I like how you still get the mask even though you blew up that thing. Whoa! Wait. At least want that. Okay. Right. Um. Oh yeah, um, I'm working on my Dead by Daylight thingy. Um, oh, that was stupid. What did I do that for? I wasn't thinking for a split second. <laughs> I thought it was this. That's, uh, you see? You see? I did this to myself. Whoa, I didn't know that one went down. I thought it was the grass one. Oh wait, no, it's the... Huh. I don't know. Alright. Nah. Oh, Crash is so happy thinking he did a good job, but... You missed six boxes. Um... <clears throat> yeah, um... I need to get... 
I need to get my voice back in commission because um, it's still kind of weird. I, I don't know. Like, I my uh, range is very bad right now. Um, so I might... I don't know. I had a sore throat last week. And I was drinking my tea, doing my, my medicine. But, uh... It's just, um... Taking forever for my throat to get better. And it sucks, because there's so many things I have to record for other people and myself. And I'm just like, dude, my voice needs to have that range, though. Because if I try to bring my voice a little higher and higher and higher, it just goes away. <clears throat> so I need to, um... Um... I need to, um... I guess... Wait until it decides to get it together. Ooh. I got me a game. Two percent. Password. I have all these games on here. On this, um... Emulator. Uh, and, um, they're good games. Um, they're all PS1, um, and they're pretty groovy. Um, I just haven't played them in a while. Um, I do have physical copies of them, but, um, well, most of them. One of them I think I lost, another one I think my cousin broke it or something. I don't, know. I don't like lending out my things, you know, because people don't take care of things. I've given my nephews, like, some stuff, and they just trash it. I'm like, dude, like, that was something that meant something to me. <laughs> I've given them game systems. They just don't last. I'm just like, dude. How do you break a PS2? <laughs> well, I mean, you can break it, but still, it's like, why would you not take care of it? Hiya. Hiya. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boop. Boop. I wish there was like a tournament thing that. See, that's what I was trying to do. But... We who? Like, uh, I'm sure there is like a Crash Bandicoot tournament thing, or maybe it's on like YouTube where they did one at one point. Oh. Okay. I need a life. Yeah, I like how in the games, like in these three, um, the moves and abilities that Crash has. Um, ah! I thought I wasn't going to make that. Um, yeah, they, um, they, like, added more moves to what he's able to do and all that good stuff. And, um, uh, now they're adding more, which is cool. So Crash has everything he had in Crash 3. Um, except I don't know if he has the speed shoes. I'm take the short cap. The short cap, Tommy. Ah. See, I don't know what makes him get stuck like that. Ooh. Ooh, waha. Get your 
lives on. Boop. Boop. Beep. Oh no. Wow, no. Okay. I'm <laughs> like doing my own sound effects. Oh shit. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yay. Ah. Yeah, that's one of my favorite levels. Um, and then I like Castle Machine. <clears throat> Up the crack. Yeah, so, um, my cousins on my mom's side of the family, they would, they got me into Crash, um, they had, oh man, they had Crash 3 and CTR, and we used to play the hell out of those, um, and we're supposed to be having some, uh, family reunion thing and um, I think it'd be fun to play these games again <laughs> especially CTR because oh my gosh we used to <laughs> we used to have some fun uh, the battling on the new CTR is cool but like nobody ever wants to play like I try to get um, some of my friends to play it and it's like there's just like oh the battling's like boring I was like dude it was fun I, I used to always do battles with my cousins and um, it would just be, we'd have bombs, and that was it, like the three bombs. And you just had to try to, <laughs> just try to bomb each other, it was, it was fun. Um, I think we only did two players, though, and we took turns. Because we didn't have the ability to do, we didn't have multi-tap, damn! That took me back, multi-tap, where I had the, uh, it was like the thing where you would plug it into the PS2, I think? Pretty sure it's PS2, and it had uh, the four ports for the controllers, and you could play four players. <laughs> oh my gosh, I might still. Uh, I don't know. Man, that that takes it back, man. Um, the PS2 is still great in its own right. Um, PS5, I don't even know, man. It's. <laughs> They're just churning them out like, oh yeah, here's a PS5. It's uh, $700 and uh, it doesn't do anything but play PS4 and PS5 games. <laughs> I'm just like, dude. But I, I, now I heard, I'm not certain if it's like an actual... Um, I'm not certain if it's... Uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I usually don't do that cheat. Like, I would just keep my mask. I think it was because you got to keep your mask after that boss fight. I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, but yeah, but it's what some people do is cheat. And uh, I had to cheat. Okay, some. Um, what was I saying? Oh my gosh, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many boss fights are going to be in Crash 4. Um... But there have been some other villains confirmed. So who knows who else can be confirmed? We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, there's so many surprises. Even though I spoiled some things for myself, I'm like, dude, I'm likely most of the shit that I found out I forgot about already. Because <laughs> I've been going through other stuff in life. But, um... 
Yeah, um, there's some some cool surprises though. I I'm looking forward to everything, but like the cutscenes are like the thing I'm really looking forward to because I just I don't know. There's something about them that they just they look like they're gonna be fun to watch. So. Whoa. Okay. I have like 43 um, 43 lives. I don't know why I'm all like scared. Woo. Okay. These darn bats. Whoa! Oh shit. This isn't even the- Oh my gosh, come on. This isn't even the hard level, like, seriously. Boop. Oh shit. Come back. Ah, oh, damn it. Boop. Okay, there we go. Oh! Yay. Alright. I thought there was a checkpoint right here. I'm afraid I'm mistaken. Oh, there it is. Boop. 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 Meh. Boop. Yeah, so... Um... What else did I want to ramble about? Oh! Um... I know, I always bitch about it, but, you know, with the COVID scandemic shit going on. Um, Florida apparently reopened without... Uh, like, they're not doing... There's, like... You don't need a mask. You don't need all that bullshit. What the hell is the point of going over here? Was there anything? I don't know. <laughs> I thought there was boxes over there for some reason. Okay. Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah. So you don't have to wear a mask. You could go to Disney World and shit. So I might go to Disney World. Shit. I have never been there, and I would like to go. But I heard it's like five thousand dollars or some shit. So I don't know. But then, it depends on the governor, like I've been saying about this whole dumb shit, like, it depends on the state, the governor, the people, it depends on the people. Like, if you're gonna make this a big deal and be retarded about it, then things are gonna be shitty. But if you decide to grow a brain and think for yourself, um, and just be like, hey, you know, this is bullshit, people want to get back to their lives and I respect that, then that's great. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, them reopening like that could be part of their little dog and pony show. Oh, shit. Um, but who knows? Who knows? All I know is that they're actually not giving a fuck anymore. And I'm like, dude, good. You guys shouldn't have, this shouldn't have gone this far to begin with. So, um, yeah, hopefully all the other states, you know, do the same. My home state, Cali, is... It's a shithole as it is, but the governor there is, like, some psychotic tyrant. Like, I don't know... I don't know what his major malfunction is, but... Yeah, it's so 90s. What's your major malfunction? Oh, shit, I forgot I got this bitch. Uh, the babe bonus. Oh, I'm gonna go see my girlfriend, Todd. Oh, she's so hot. I'm just gonna pop through all these boxes. Ah, oh, shit! Okay, that was, that was Crash's voice. <laughs> For the bonus. <laughs> I, I don't even know how Crash got Tana, like, seriously, like, she doesn't look like she would be with somebody so silly, unless it's, like, a reference to, like, Roger Rabbit, you know, uh, or, you know, Jessica Rabbit is like, well, that's his wife, but it's like, uh, she's like, oh, he makes me laugh, so maybe Crash makes, um, Tana laugh, because he's so silly, but... Um, in that cutscene that I saw where they reveal Tana in the fourth game, um, they, uh, it's like she's over him. It, like, I don't know, she just thinks he's a, uh, a little idiot or something. <laughs> she doesn't even care about him. Uh, so you can tell they're just not a thing anymore. Uh, and that's kind of messed up in, in a sense, because, uh, this whole game is about him saving her, like... <laughs> And he went through a lot of shit just to get to her. <laughs> and I, was, I was thinking about this animation that I saw. <laughs> it was like, why Tana's gone or something like that. It was hilarious, but it was... <laughs> uh, he was like... Uh, Crash was... Uh, he, like, saves Cortex. I mean, he saves Cortex. He saves Tana. He defeats Cortex, saves Tana, and then he's like... Um, He's, like, trying to, I guess, get some. It, it's kind of, a, you know, a little raunchy, but it's like he's, like, you know, trying to, you know, have have some relations with Tana, like, in celebration. And she's like, no, Crash. And then, 
<laughs> and then he gets Aku Aku and puts him on his face, and he's like, Aku Aku's talking for Crash, or he's talking, Crash is talking through Aku Aku, and he's like, look, bitch. <laughs> He's like, do you know how many how many things I had to go through just to get to you? And now you ain't even gonna put out. I was like, dude, that shit was so funny. Oh my god. And then he like pushes her off the freaking balloon. <laughs> it was great. I just it was so stupid, but I thought it was hilarious. There was another one where it was like based on the first game and it was uh prepare the female bandicoot and like embryo was just like uh Prepare for what, actually? Like, what are we doing? And then... Uh... And then he was asking Cortex, like, Why is she wearing, like, revealing clothing? Like, short shorts and a tight shirt and all this stuff. And, and then Cortex was like, I don't... I don't want to fuck her. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> it was just... It was just so randomly hilarious. Like, what the fuck? Um... I don't even know who those people are, those animators, but, like, they, like, they, they just made some random funny shit. And I, just, I just thought it was funny. Oh, shit. Okay, I thought I did that too early. I'm making good progress, though. I think it's only been, what, an hour since I've been playing the shit? Or, I don't even know how long it's been, but... 20 minutes? I don't know. It's not a long game. Um, but I'm not gonna jump into the second one right after, I'm just gonna... I'll probably animate or something. I don't know, I haven't eaten nothing yet either, so I might... Uh, my door dashed me some Applebee's. Oh shit, oh shit, eh. Eh. Oh, that was too early. Or maybe too late, I don't know. You're too late! Ha 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 ha. Uh, oh, I wanted to talk about the- Whoa, shit! <laughs> I forgot that left if you stayed on it. My bad. Okay, um... What was I gonna say? Um, yeah, the voices. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta say, I love, 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 absolutely love Tana and, um, Coco's voices. Oh my gosh. Like, dude. They sound amazing. I don't know who it is doing the voices, but... Um... Yeah, they got... Some great voice actresses. Okay, can I get out of here, please? I'm so close. Yay. Um, yeah, so they... Yeah, Tana sounds amazing. I'm just so glad they didn't give Tana a Australian accent or something. Like, I have nothing against that accent, but I'm just like, dude, like, that would be, like, stereotypical, I guess. I don't know. I, I just... Even Crash, like... Um, now I know he had the Australian accent in, um, Skylanders Academy, which, that doesn't count. Um, and Coco, oh gosh. Ugh. Anyway, um, Coco looks so disgusting in that one. And she's, like, Australian. It was just weird. Um, yeah, and I know they're Australian animals or whatever, but it's like, dude, they're American-made Australian, okay? Like, Aladdin in Disney's Aladdin, like, the cartoon, yeah, he was, like, you know, Arabian or Arabic or whatever the hell. But he wasn't talking all like he was from there. He sounded white, if anything. Or, yeah, it was a white guy voicing him. So, I mean... And to me, it doesn't matter. Like, if that that was, like, a thing with the... I think it was the Cleveland show or something. Like, a white guy is voicing a black guy. I'm like, who cares? It's the freaking voice. Like, it, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't think a voice should have a color attached to it. You know, like, isn't it a black guy who does Elmo's voice? Like, who cares? It's like, it... Color has nothing to do with anything. Oh my gosh, I haven't played this level in so long! But I'm not screwing it up yet. Um, but yeah, the voice acting is, like... I want to say it's Maurice LaMarche playing Entropy. Because it kind of sounded like him, but I don't know. But they didn't get Debbie Derryberry to play Coco. And I have nothing against her, but it was like, dude, they were, like, using her too much. Especially in CTR, like, they had her in, um... They had her as Coco, Pasadena, Nina, um... Maybe Yaya Panda, too? I don't know. They just had her doing all the voices, and I, I think it was because of budget. They couldn't hire anybody else. 
But I'm like, man, they could have went to, like, voiceactor.com or whatever and just got some random-ass people to, you know? They could have. But they wanted to save money and live better. So I was like, okay, fine. I guess they'll have to use what's-her-name and that'll work, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I don't know who's voicing Tana or Coco, but I want to find out. Um, what else? I heard it's not just Harnell doing Crash's little, you know, grunts and whatever in the fourth game. I'm not sure. I heard it. I don't know if it's true. Um, but they got Greg Eagles as Aku Aku again. I could tell. Um, and what's his name passed away? The OG voice of, uh... Of Aku Aku, Mel Winkler, like, I didn't even know. Um, or I found out, I don't know, like, one of my friends told me, and I was like, oh, shit. I think it was the last year, or, I don't remember, but, yeah, it was that. I was like, man, his bassy voice. Now, they should have, oh, shit. I wish they got, like, uh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Who's that one actor that I was like, he sounds like Aku Aku, and he only did, he was in the Lego movie. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, um, oh my gosh, he's like a popular actor, and I can't think of his freaking name right now because this boulder is freaking me out. Okay, I'm not gonna make it, 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 I want some bacon. It's a sign. Maybe I should have some bait. <laughs> oh, shit. See? See? This is why. This is why. <clears throat> I'm trying to get my range back. It's, it's so bad. Um. Okay, let me try to think of that name. Who is that celebrity? That he's like... Morgan Freeman. Duh. Okay, yeah. They should have got him to play Aku Aku because he sounds hella like Aku Aku. Like, if they make a movie of Crash, they need to have him play Aku Aku, like, seriously. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, the voice acting, but in, in the trailer, I thought it was Maurice LaMarche playing, um, playing Entropy. I don't know who plays him, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, he sounds good, though. Um, and then... Um, that trailer, though, that trailer was really well done. Like, wow. I mean, both of them were, like, the About Time, or Right About Now, whatever that song was. Like, that that one was cool. And then they had, um, I think it was a song called Go or something for the new trailer. Um, and that, it was just cool. I felt like I was watching a, a movie trailer or something. I don't know. Um, if they do make a Crash movie, I would hope the theaters are open by then. Because I just want to go to a movie theater. I was talking to my cousin yesterday, and I was like, man... Uh, well, he was like, you know what I miss the most is movie theaters. I was like, dude. He's like, yeah, I want to go in a movie theater and experience a movie. I was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> like, there's a few movies I wanted to see this year in theaters. And... You know, people are like, well, you could stream it at home. I'm like, dude, that's not the same. Like, I want the experience of a theater. I want to, you know, get the overpriced snacks and, oh, dang it. Um, everything, you know, the popcorn, all that. And I said, when the movie theater's open, I will buy their $6 gummy bears or, um, what is it, Starburst or whatever. Um, my little Sour Punch straws. I mean, I know I could get them at, for a dollar at Target or, uh, what you call it, um, uh, Walmart. Got them 98 cents. But, you know, I will break down and buy all that crap. I'll buy a slushy and some... Ooh, I'll even buy one of those overpriced hot dogs. <laughs> the, uh... What do they call it? The theater, theater hot dogs or whatever. I don't know. Um... And I'll buy some little ice cream. What is that? Uh, it was like... What the hell do they call them? Oh, they were called dibs, I remember. They were like these little ice cream bricks, and you could just eat them by hand. <clears throat> it 
It was kind of like eating a frozen candy bar, but it had ice cream inside. It was good. <laughs> I'm like sounding so fat talking about all this food and snacks. Um, I just, I'm hungry. Um, but yeah, I just want the movie theaters to open again. Like seriously, it was like it's stupid. And it would be super retarded if they're like, well, we'll have to find a way to have people six feet apart so that, you know, the virus... I'll be like, you know what, then there's no point of going to the movies with somebody if you can't. Um, and sit next to them, like, what the fuck? Especially if it's, like, a scary movie. I wouldn't want to, like, sit by myself with, like, six feet around me and, like, thinking, that like, the killer's gonna come up behind me or some shit. I know he would like the killer wouldn't, but it's like it's a movie. But you still you kind of get scared. It's like if you watch something about like if you watch a movie about bugs or something, and there's like you know the creepy crawlies, and then you're like thinking that it's crawling on you, like you feel it or something, like it's crawling on you because you're watching it. It's like your brain is playing tricks on you. It's like that. So like if you watch a scary movie by yourself, you're thinking, oh shit, if I go you know in the bathroom or you're all checking behind you and shit or looking in your closet, what the. Okay, this fire is doing too much. Hurry up, fuck. Finally. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. I made it. Okay, let me get out of here though. Wahoo. Okay, I'll wait for these bricks to do their thing. Okay, cool. I gotta wait for these ones to do their thing. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Checkpoint time. Boop. 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 Boop! Oh shit. But oh yeah. Um, there's so many things that I want to like open again. So we'll see how Florida does, man. Cause I just got hired full time at the job that I'm at. Like they, I started. I was like with a temp agency, but they were like, oh yeah, we want you to be full time. Um, so after 30 days hits, um, I will be full time. Um, however, well, I would have to wait, I think, 90 days for my, um, vacation benefits to kick in. Um, now I know where, where I'm working, <clears throat> this place, they probably won't give you, like, holidays off, like Christmas and all that shit, but I don't care. Like, I don't give a shit. I do my vacations, like, in the summer, uh, or maybe holidays that aren't really that crucial, like, uh, 4th of July, but Christmas, Thanksgiving, and all that shit, I don't care about that. Uh, Halloween, like, I would, I would go for October, um, you know, and do the universal Halloween thing. Okay, cool. I thought I was gonna, I thought I fucked that up. Um, but yeah, the Halloween thing, um, which they canceled this year, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Woo! Woo! Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even remember I had a mask right there. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Getting all into this game. Yeah. Okay. I don't, this level is like, I don't hate it, but it is one of the most challenging, I will say. Oh, there we go. Come to me. All right, now let me get this, and let me go over here, and then I go, ha, oh, that was close. Oh, see, my voice is, like, getting squeaky and shit. Uh, I need to rest my voice. I need to shut the fuck up. Dirk, dirk, dirk. Mm -hmm. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 Shit. <laughs> All right. Yay! Let me let me hopefully keep this golden mask. There's no bats here. Oh my gosh! I was about to I was trying to slide. <laughs> Wrong game. Okay. Uh Oh my goodness. I'm a good man. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Get a life. Whoa, shit! <laughs> I, I didn't jump in time. 
Damn it. Damn, I have 76 lives! Ooh. What's another crash game where I get a lot of lives if I don't die as much? Uh, to Insanity. Like, I'll have like 80 something lives by. Um, like 83 lives by the. Um, by the time I get to the. Map, map, wah. Sorry, I had a smack on um, my face because I thought. <laughs> I think there was like a, a gnat or something or. Why? I don't know. The hell that oh no! Oh boy! Oh boy! I get to see my girlfriend. Hi! Oh my gosh! Oh, you're so hot. They're so like disproportionate. Like Crash does not look like he was evolved by the same. Uh, yeah, even Coco, they look different, and they're, they're related. Here, it's like, that's his girlfriend, so it's different, but, like, it makes sense for her to look different, but Crash and Coco are brother and sister, so it's like, I don't know, maybe Coco was made by uh, Embryo, and that's why, uh, that's why Coco looks more human-ish, or doesn't look all... Like Taz from Looney Tunes. I'm not hating on Crash's look, but you know, when he wears outfits, it looks kind of weird. <laughs> he doesn't have a neck. And I will say that makes it very hard for him to animate, like, and crash out and stuff. And, um, he can turn and whatever, but it's like his head, like, making him wear a lab coat and all that was, like, weird. I had to look back to uh, Tag Team Racing for that. And, yeah. Um, crash Out, I do want to bring it back at one point, but I don't want people to get in their head that I'm a Crash cartoon factory. So that's why I haven't really brought it back yet. Um, but I am working on a fourth episode. That shit's kind of back burner right now, because Depa Daylight is kind of taking over. Um, but Depa Daylight is... Um, it's... Um, right now... Ooh, it's called... Uh, uh, DVD bits, Dead by Daylight bits, and, um, it's supposed to, it, it's basically like Defusion, but with Dead by Daylight, pretty much. Um, I'm gonna put the characters in random situations or whatever, whatnot, and, um, some will be based on, uh, some little skits will be based on my actual game experiences, some will be based on the character lore, and some will be based on, uh, like a what if type of thing. Um, there's a lot of what ifs, and those are the really random ones, but, um, yeah, um, it's, it's something. I, I wouldn't say it's, like, too innovative. Um, it's a little silly in some areas, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, something different, something new. Um, I did do a poll on my channel, um, if anyone is watching and they have not voted yet, um, now it's funny because I'm against voting. <laughs> That's for politics, okay? When it comes to my, uh, my stuff, I want people's feedback and, you know, so I put, like, you know, a poll saying, you know, you would watch it or if you would pass or if you would, uh, or if you didn't know what the game was. Um, if you don't know what Dead by Daylight is, um, I guess look it up. Um, it's a survival game, basically. Um, like a horror survival game. Sort of, kind of. It's like there's one killer, four survivors. You can play as a survivor or you can play as a killer. Um, and you, uh, basically have to fix generators. Like, five of them. Five out of seven generators. And you have to try to not get killed. Um... Lately, as Survivor, I've been, like, they haven't even, like, they don't find me, because I've been really stealthy. I don't know, I have a pretty good, uh, nah, man, I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, I have a pretty good, uh, knack for hiding in certain areas, um, in that game. Um, it got a graphical update, so it looks a lot better. Um, it used to look like a 2005 PS2 game, but, um, now it looks a lot better. 
Um, but still, it, it's it's addicting. Um, it's not without its flaws, though. I mean, there are some moments where something in the game should have worked, but it didn't. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, they uh, they continuously fix bugs or whatever. They recently fixed the sound effects for the fixing of the generators because they had added a sound where it was like you were trying to start a car. Like a car engine was trying to start up and the battery was bad. Um, and that just sounded so shitty and it was like loud. And like when I played as Killer I could hear the the engine trying to start. It was like and I was just like no dude. Um, so yeah they got rid of that shit. Thank god. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh! Okay. I thought that little thing was gonna go up higher. Little U. <coughs> the UFOs! Oh, damn. <coughs> oh, excuse. Um. See, I like the steamers in this one, and the new one, it's like they're vents, and the little vents, like, open up, and then they let out the steam. So it kind of warns you, it's kind of stupid. These ones, it's like, it's just a pipe that you walk on, and it's like, ah, oh, dang it. Um, it's like, uh, you know, take a risk, take a chance, mm, make a change. Oh, this is going to take forever. One thing in Insane Trilogy that I'll give them credit for is that they made these boxes, like, freaking... Ah! I wasn't counting, damn it. <laughs> they made them, uh... They made them, um, you bounce five times instead of ten. <clears throat> See, my voice is going away again. Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know what these are. They look like, I don't know. <laughs> I thought they were like, what is that? Like, <laughs> it's like, you don't know what it is. You just know it can kill you. <laughs> I wonder how they came up with these enemies, though. It's, like, kind of a mystery. And I don't know why this this part of the level, like, you jump cut. Watch. See? See, it jump cuts. I don't know why it does that. Either way, this is, um, this is, like, my favorite level. I really like the music, though. It's, like, it's cool. Like quirky little mechanical music. Why, 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 why? Dude, I'm so mad that in the spiral thing that they didn't do that. The why, why? They just did like oh, and I'm just like no, that's not no. Spyro's trilogy was pretty good though. I'll give it that. The first game was my favorite. Like they went all out and it was. Rally well done. Ooh. Ah! Damn it. Oh well. Boop. Boop. Scream. I forgot how many times I died. I know bonus doesn't count, but... Um... What? Oh. Okay. Cool. Oh, the embryo bonuses don't count the boxes. I remember in Insane, they do count those. Oh, I'll remember that password. I used to remember the super password. I don't remember it anymore. Uh, the new stuff has pushed the old stuff out of my brain. Cotex. Cotex. Cotex power. There was a crash out episode I was going to call Cortex power and it was like Cortex develops a sports drink that's like green goo. And it like just messes everybody up. <laughs> Or, like, Embryo helps him make it or something. I don't know. I just I have so many ideas. I have a pile of plans, man. Oh, 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 oh. Should we do it again? 
<laughs> Round two. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, damn it. I needed you. I needed you today. So when did you go? Well, I'm so tired. <laughs> and I slept like eight hours or something. I don't know. Ooh, this one gave me the shits when I was a kid. It still kind of does. But in the Thing trilogy, they fucked up on these screens. They could have made them very scary. And they were just like, uh, we'll just have Cortex do three frames where it looks like he's going, Hey! 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 And I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, this is supposed to be the creepiest level, and you guys fucked it up. Like, even, um, Slippery Climb, and I'll get to that one. They fucked it up. Yeah, slippery climb. They fucked up with the, the music and the look of it. Like, it's just not scary. Ninety nine crash headlines floating on my HUD. Oh shit. Does anybody know what that means? The HUD, the HUD. I bet the little babbies don't know what the fuck that means. Oh shit. Oh! Oh man. I remember doing the, um. The bonus thing. Oh shit. Um, oh, not the bonus, the time trial on this one on Insane, and I was like, dude, I kept, I was off by like three seconds or some shit, it was annoying. I don't know why they put time trials in Crash 1, that was like a dumb idea, but they did it, and I did it, I actually went with it, and I was like, okay, yeah, so I got all Platinum Relics in Crash 1 and Crash 2, and... Crash 3, I didn't bother because in the original, I got all plat relics, so I was just like, yeah, that's all that matters. Hiya. Hiya. But yeah, dude, Cortex, like, it looks like he's about to jump out of that screen and, like, steal your soul. I don't know why they didn't put the N on his head, though. That's kind of weird. Maybe they ran out of time. Hey, I'm back to 99 lives. Oh man, I'm tired. I should take a nap. No, if I take a nap, because then I'll, I'll hibernate, and that's not what I want. Toxic paste! I like the music they did in the Insane Trilogy for this one. Um, the music was hit and miss, like, they fucked up some of them, and then some of them, I was like, damn, that's really good. Uh, and then some of them, I was like, wow, you listened to the fan cover of that on YouTube, didn't you? <laughs> um, I'm not saying that their take on it wasn't bad, but I was like, yeah, you definitely got inspired by something that was made in, like, 2005 or some shit, like, um, because people made, you know, rock covers of certain songs, and... You know, I'm sure they got inspired by that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but 
this will always be superior. Even in Spyro, um, the Spyro trilogy that they did, um, some of the remade music sounded better than the, um, than the original, I'll say. But the one song they fucked up in the Spyro one was, um, Scorch, and I was, oh, what the fuck? I spun his ass. Anyway, um, the one they fucked up was Scorch, like, dude. Like, it sounded so bad in the remake. I was just like, nah, dude. Things were missing. It just sounded off. And then they added, like, a little rift of, I don't know what. It was just weird. So I had to turn it back to the original music for that. Because <laughs> it, was, it was all bad. interesting uh, when you tap whoa when you tap uh, spin it'll do some woo -woo 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 -woo. I don't know it's like he's trying to spin but it won't let you oh wow that was not okay <laughs> was not what I was trying to do <laughs> These barrels aren't going very fast, so I don't know how they can squash them like that. Yeah, the bouncing ones used to scare the shit out of me when I was a kid. Because you just hear them, like, thunking down the hall. It's like, come. That reminds me, uh, just the sound reminds me of this video I saw on YouTube of, like, ghost encounters where they were, like, legit. They weren't some bullshit, like, ghost hunters or whatever the fuck. Ooh! Um. But, um, they were, like, real, um, encounters. And, um, they freaking, uh. Oh. There was one where you hear, like, a sl metal slam, kind of like that, like, in this game, like, <laughs> but it was slower. And, um, it was, like, this door to, like, some laundry thing. Woo! Um. Hiya, babe. 50%. 50%? How? That's interesting. Okay. Um. But, yeah, it was, like, it was, like, whoa, no. No. Um, yeah. Okay, um. So, yeah, it was, like, slamming the door. And then, like, when the guy came up to it, it was, he was, like, a security guy. And when he came up to the door, like, it stopped doing it. It was fucking creepy as fuck. But you could tell there was, like, no, it was not, like, CGI. It was not, like, it was, like, the door was, like, fucking swacking against the metal and shit. It was fucking creepy. I don't know if that video is still up. But, yeah. Uh, it, I'm sure if you s search real ghost encounters, you'll get some fake-ass shit. Um, because YouTube's search filter is, like, fucked. Um, move, pinstripe, damn. Ooh! Um. Yeah. And I have plenty of stories about ghost, ghostly encounters where, like, shit's real. Uh. And, um, and I don't fuck with that shit. Like, I don't, like, if there's something wrong, um, or, like, you know, there is some ghostly shit, like, I don't go looking for it. You know how some people are like, oh, that place is haunted? Oh, let's just go. Let's go check it out. Like, it's re like it's a real haunted house or real haunted funeral parlor or some shit. So, oh, let's, let's check it out. I'm like, no, fool, I ain't going in that shit. Like, I'm not asking for that to come to me or follow me or whatever the fuck. Like, fuck that. Um... And it's like, I don't go looking for that shit. It just, I, I experience it, though. And I'm like, nah, dude. So, I don't know, man. I, I think about stuff like that. Like, what happens when we die? Like, does the ghost, like, does this, the spirit linger or something in the room or in the whatever? Like, I don't, I don't know. Death is, like, kind of a mysterious thing. 
it's kind of scary too because it's like when you die that's it like you can't die and come back and you know tell everybody about it now there's some people that claim that they died and they came back and all this stuff but i'm like i don't know i don't know uh, i'm not saying i don't believe them but at the same time it's kind of suspect um so yeah i don't know why i'm talking about that shit i was going on this like binge of watching kind of like I, I guess i kind of have a morbid curiosity like of like i saw this um this freaking this guy went into some he was in california i think he was in san jose like my hometown and he was like oh um i'm gonna exp uh i'm gonna explore this abandoned or cemetery uh, or not a cemetery a uh, funeral parlor and he's like oh yeah this is really nice and he went during the day he was by himself though i was like dude like what the fuck don't do that shit by yourself like and it, it was it was broad daylight outside but he went in there and it was like fucking dark as fuck in there like in some areas like the part where they would have like the little the little chapel area where they would have the service and have the casket like the the podium thing and like the thing where they replaced the casket on it was there i was like oh hell no he's like yeah, it's really cold in here, and like he's like, it's weird because there's some areas where it's cold, and there's some areas where it's not, and I'm like, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> but he went upstairs to like where the family was like living, and like the family that owned the. Whoa, my goodness! Hey, Porquita, how you doing? Um. I don't know why the pigs on this one kill you when he was just riding one. Like, it doesn't make sense. I guess this is like Piggy's revenge or something. Like, he's mad that you rode him, so he's like trying to kill you, you know? Anyway, so yeah, I was like, it was creepy. Like, he was like, oh yeah, this is where the family was staying and all this stuff. I'm like, uh uh. Whoa! I didn't think I was gonna make that. Hiya! Okay, one more. Kaboom! Hey, I thought that was the end of the level, but not yet. Oh no! Well, at least I'll get a checkpoint. Um, but yeah, there, there's just like I wouldn't mess with that. And now, whoa, okay. <laughs> but the uh, the building was nice. It was nice. It's just the purpose that it was used for. I was just like, mm. and then he even went into the place where they would do the embalming and shit, and he was like, fucking. Like, you could see the, the syrup or whatever, the freaking, um, uh, all the shit that they would put. Or maybe it was blood, I don't know, because they drain out the body and shit. Like, I know the process of embalming, um, and I've seen it done before. Um, however, um, I got a gem? What the fuck? How? Okay. Whatever. Um... Yeah, so, um, he went in there, and then, like, there was another door, and he opened it, and there was, like, a casket right there, and he's, like, trying to open it, he's like, oh, I guess it's locked. I was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, don't know. That, mm -mm. Okay, this is the level where they fucked up, like, in the Insane Trilogy. Like, this one is creepy as fuck, like, it'll give you the shits. But when you go to play Insane Trilogy, like, the windows are all lit up and shit, and the music's, like, some dumb fucking disco i don't know what the hell they were going for trying to make it like more lighthearted or something but no this level's supposed to scare the shit out of you and um they were just like oh let's make it funny let's put an old man in the window and he's just trying to snatch you and it was like fucking weird um they all they had to do was just put some eyeballs in a random arm okay you're not supposed to know what that was trying to grab at you from the dungeon but they thought it was a good idea to go ahead and incorporate some random ass old man from the Hunchback of Notre Dame, and I'm like, what the fuck, badge. Okay, I'm not trying to get a gem here, so... Ooh! My back! Um, but yeah, the music was so fucking ridiculous for this one. Cause like, right about here, it's like, it goes like, with the little whistle, it's like, Wee! Dee 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 Wow, that did not work at all. I thought I was gonna land on that bird, but I went through him. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, they just fucked it up, and I was just like, dude, come on. And I know Insane Trilogy is like two years old, but I don't give a shit. Like, they should have done it better. Okay. Let's just keep it real. 
Come on, man. Come on, man. You know what I haven't played in a while is Rayman Oranges or Rayman Lemons. And I have that on PC and I could stream it, but I just haven't had the time. I have both games on PS3, I think. Yeah. I should just give my PS3 to my nephews because they don't. I mean, or at least have it for my sister. And have it at her apartment so they can play games. Okay, let me not go through the freaking bird this time. Okay, thank you. Or I don't know which bird it was that I went through, but. Yeah. It must have been the one way back there. Oh shit! Oh my gosh! Whew. I thought I did not time that right. Fuck. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking insane trilogy now because I'm pretty sure the stairs would come out a little more. Okay. Uh, I got it. I got it. Dun, 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 Dude, I love the snare. I just love how organic this sounds. Like, you got the strings plucking, you got the, the snare. Um, and what else? I don't know, I just like how it sounds. Now, I don't know if this was made with like actual instruments or if it was made with like electronic things hi -ya. You know, I'm like super hungry right now I haven't eaten anything today and it's like whoa it's like almost 4.30 in the afternoon. Oh yes, I'm going to get the Embryo Bay bonus. Hopefully I don't, um, I wanna make it to the end, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, I like to see him do his little thing where he, um, Where he like vanishes with his little potions. Ooh. Dude, I love how the minecarts are just falling off the track all like just <laughs> What There he is. You gonna do it? <laughs> That's the embryo. That's the boy. Yeah, so I'm thinking Crash 4 is gonna be on the on the level of this. Like, if not, maybe harder. Um ooh. I was gonna go through that one. Okay, one chicken, two chicken, three chicken. Yay! I don't think I should get a gem. Yeah, see? Oh, man. Yeah, I can't wait for this weekend. Um, I only work four days a week, so that's good. <laughs> four 10 hour shifts. And I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so I'm gonna do nothing but play Crash 4. Oh <clears throat> on Friday. It'll be great. Oh, I like this level too. It reminded me of the. Uh, um, the Haunted Castle ride at this boardwalk park I used to go to. Like, they had the archways that the car would get through. It was, it was cool. It had the candles in the wall. 
it looked like this. Maybe um, Crash got inspired by that ride for this level. Um, because um, that ride opened in like 1973 or 75. And then Crash came out about 20 years later. So, could be, could be. Oh shit. This means my mask is, is gonna go away sooner. I want to see on YouTube, I keep forgetting to look it up, but I remember when I played this level. I want to see if somebody actually makes it through this whole level without getting a mask or the light. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. I forgot about you. <laughs> Ooh. But yeah, I want to see if there's anybody who can do that. Oh. Uh. It might have to be me right now. <laughs> oh, shit! Okay, wait. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, shit! Oh my gosh, I actually made it. <laughs> yeah, um, there has to be somebody who's done it where they don't use uh, that one and uh, what is it? Fumbling in the dark. Um, wait, wasn't that? That was lights out. Yeah, fumbling in the dark, like, there has to be somebody else who's, who's done it all with the lights off, but. <clears throat> oh, this is the one where you miss, like, 75 boxes if you don't die. I don't know why. I want to say this is the one that has the most boxes in it. I don't know why it does, but... But yeah, Crash went through a whole lot of shit to go get his girlfriend and like... <laughs> it's messed up. I like how the gem like shrinks when you try to get near it. It's like, no, you need to get the blue gem. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that was my bad. I want to have 99 by the time I get um, to Cortex. I will, hopefully. <laughs> but I don't die a thousand times. I figure I might as well because, um, Ah, 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 ah. 
Yay. Oh man, I don't know if I should take a nap or eat something. <laughs> I don't want to sleep, because then... Oh. Yeah, it's not good. To... Woo! Woo! Okay, let's just get out of here first. Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, because if I sleep, then it turns into, like, hibernation. And I'm not trying to do that, because i got to work tomorrow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would have. Oh, I thought that would have burned me. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm tired, man. I'm like, I was like on autopilot playing this shit for a little bit. <laughs> Oh shit, I forgot about him. <laughs> Nitrous Brio. <laughs> I love how he puts his little hands up like, I I'm gonna blow you up if you don't get away. Damn, I'm fucking this up. What? 
That's not fair. The goo balls attacked me, man. I saw his health bar, I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> like, when I saw it for the first time. I can't wait to see Embryo's um, roll in Crash 4. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think they're going to utilize all the villains. Should be cool. Sooner than I thought. Cool. Let's hope that I actually make it to the end. Oh. Oh my gosh, I forgot I had a Bug's Life on here. I should play that. I haven't played that in eons. I remember there was like a level that was really hard though. Congratulations, you win a gem. A yellow one, how useful. I forgot which one that. Oh, where they add something there in the yellow gem. I, I want to say it's. 
Um, one of the bolder ones? I don't know. And of course, it's always great to go on here and, you know, find your way on the path of gems and- Whoa! Fuck! I was trying to be at 80, 99 lives when I get to Cortex. <laughs> I guess I didn't get that many gems. Oh well. See how many times I die on this shit. My goal is to not die at all. Let's see. Dawn, you crush Bandico. I just fall off the balloon. Well, that was Crash Bandicoot. And Crash gets a nice hug from his girlfriend because, you know... He looks bigger now. I don't know. <laughs> the proportions. Anyway, Cortex's castle is all in a blaze. And they just take off into the... Uh, into the... Um, into the unknown... <laughs> Sorry, I'm so freaking tired. Bob Raffi. Charlotte Francis Morgan. It's a mouthful. Um, yeah. So, um, it was good to play that. Um, I died, I don't even know how many times, but, um, I got to ramble about some stuff and talk about different things, and that was fun. So, um, yeah. Um, I'll probably do some other things and animate and whatever, and then... Maybe pop on to Crash 2. We'll see how I feel. And we'll take it from there. But until next time, y'all. Uh, catch y'all in the next one. Whenever.